George W. Bush, uh, the, uh, I did four books on him, as I mentioned. Uh, I think you need to look back on that and uh, realize some mistakes were made, most likely the Iraq War. Uh, but he did keep the country safe, as Jeb Bush has said. Uh, the Iraq War, I did a whole book on why we had the Iraq War, and a lot of people said, well, it was Dick Cheney pushing Bush. Uh, actually, uh, I charted the war plan very carefully, and uh, the reason we went to war in Iraq is essentially George Bush thought it was going to be easy because the war plan kept getting easier, and uh, there was a moral dimension to uh, the war for him. And there's a critical scene uh, that I learned of, and I, when I interviewed Bush for this, we went over, and uh, Elie Wiesel, uh, the Holocaust survivor, Nobel Prize, uh, Prize winner, came to see Bush. And Wiesel said, you know, if we'd intervened uh, with Germany in early 1938, there would have been no World War II, and there would have been no Holocaust. And Elie Wiesel uh, said to Bush, you have an obligation to intervene here. You have a moral obligation to intervene. When I asked Bush about it, he said this was one of the most uh, important pieces of information he, get, he got. But in the Iraq war, it's clear Bush tried to do uh, too much. Uh, you know, you can't. And I think one of the lessons in this is you can't fix the world. Uh, Bush, very uh, much more complex figure than people give him credit for. Uh, the third book I did on Bush was called State of Denial, uh, in which I recounted in detail how Bush did not tell the truth about how bad the Iraq war was going by 2005, 2006. And I, essentially said he was telling lies to the public the whole time. When I did set out, out to do the fourth book, uh, he agreed to let me come and interview him. And I remember telling colleagues at the Washington Post, I'm going to interview Bush. And they said, what, after you wrote State of Denial and called him a liar? And I said, well, it's set up. And, he said, and they said, you better worry, you're going to get to the White House and they're gonna throw a bag over your head and throw you in the Potomac River. Well, didn't happen. He, we did the interview, he answered the questions, and uh, to a certain, no, not to a certain extent, to a large extent, I took this uh, to mean, yeah, he wasn't telling the truth. Uh, and for a president to acknowledge that albeit uh, indirectly is quite astonishing.